I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions based on complex numbers. The question here is find the solution of the equation x square plus 5 equals to 0. Justify your solution. Now we are working in the domain of complex number. Let us say x belongs to the set of complex numbers. Okay, so that is the set of complex numbers in which we'll find the given solution. Okay, the question here is x squared plus 5 equal to 0. To find the solution, we can isolate x squared first. So we get x squared equals to minus 5. So x should be equal to square root of this number, which is minus 5. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. You expect two roots, right? Clearly, square root of a negative number is not real. It is complex number, right? In complex number, you understand i square is negative 1 or the other way is negative 1 square root is i, right? So that is what we are going to use here. So we say, well, x is equals to plus and minus this negative, right? So negative can be brought out as i square root of 5. Do you get the idea, right? So that becomes the solution for the given equation. So we say solution is x equals to plus and minus i square root 5. So there are two roots for this and these roots are plus and minus 5. Now the second part of this question is justify your solution. So that means let us check it, right? So to justify, we'll substitute the solution back into the equation and see whether the equation works or not. So the equation here is x squared plus 5 equals to 0. We found two solutions. So we'll try x equals to plus i square root 5. And then we'll also try x equals to minus i square root 5. Correct? So these are the two solutions which we got. And we'll check both of them. Okay. Let's begin with the first one. If I substitute i square root 5 here, I get i square root 5 whole square, right? This is for x square plus 5. What is this equal to? Now, square of i, I could write like this. And then square root, root square plus 5. I'm adding these steps for clarity. You need not even write this, okay? i square is minus 1. And square of square root is 5. So you get 5. So you get minus 5 plus 5, which is indeed 0. And so, so it works. So this works, right? We get 0. Let's try it with the negative i square root 5 now. So if I substitute negative i, I get negative i square root 5 whole square plus 5. Now that gives me negative i square times square root 5 square right plus 5 now square of negative is positive so we get this as i square times 5 plus 5 correct now i square is negative we could write this as negative 5 plus 5 and this is also zero do you see that so both are the correct answers right so we valid verified it both are valid answers so it works right so in the domain of complex numbers you can now find solution of any equation so we'll take up some more in coming videos but i hope you understand how to find a solution and how to verify it just as we did here i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best